Hello, I'm Ryan Light for Amanoff of Chelsea Financial Services. And today I'm joined by Andrew Shah, co-manager of the Aberdeen Standard Global Midcap Equity Fund. Andrew, thank you very much for your time today. Hi, Ryan. Thank you for having me. Um, now, how do you define a mid-cap stock? Um, presumably, this is going to be different um, sizes in the different countries you operate. You're global. So how do you go about finding what a mid-cap is? Yeah, it's a really good question. So global mid-cap is actually not a well-known asset class. There's about a trillion dollars invested in US mid-caps, but it's far less developed globally. But over time, we would expect this to change given how attractive we believe global mid-caps to be. So for us, global mid-caps represent the next 15% of the MSCI All Companies World Index. Now, there's about 1,500 companies in this index. The index is made up of 23 developed and 26 emerging markets, and its market caps can vary significantly by country. And what place do mid-caps have in a portfolio? Why should investors um, have them in there as a specific asset class? Mid-caps offer the potential for higher returns than large caps, but with lower levels of risk than small cap. Just consider for companies to have made it from small to mid-cap, they tend to have established and resilient business models while still remaining nimble. Thus, mid-caps potentially offer lower levels of risk than small caps, some of which don't succeed or can find it difficult to access financing in order to grow. Mid-caps are really entering that next phase of growth. So, for example, they're expanding into adjacencies or they're internationalizing, and that can really provide a long runway of growth in the years ahead. But despite those attractive characteristics, market inefficiencies still exist. Mid-caps are often under-researched and undercovered versus large caps. And it's because of those markets' inefficiencies, there's an opportunity for us to find hidden gems. So mid-caps offer the potential for higher returns than large caps. Now, mid-caps have outperformed their larger peers over the long term. And as of March 2022, they currently trade at very attractive relative valuations. So this, combined with the fact that market recoveries are usually led by small and medium-sized companies, means now could be a very attractive entry point into this asset class. And the global mid-cap universe is really home to a diverse range of global market leaders that operate in areas of structural growth. And that sort of brings me on to my next question. It's been a difficult start to the year as we sit here in on 1st of March. Um, how have global mid-caps performed in that uh, recent market sell-off? January 2022 has certainly been challenging. Equities had one of the worst starts in history to a new year. Um, investors were increasingly concerned central banks would be forced to reduce asset purchases and raise interest rates at a much faster pace than forecast in order to tackle elevated levels of inflation. And that really led to a sharp de-risking with investors aggressively selling highly rated growth stocks and rotating into value and cyclical oriented stocks. As a result, our global mid-cap equity fund has underperformed. But it's worth remembering that rising yields dampen economic activity. So growth concerns are likely to overtake inflation concerns at some point. And when that occurs, cyclical and value stocks are likely to underperform given their lack of inherent growth. Now, our history and experience suggest sharp value and cyclical rotations tend to last around six months. Um, investors need to be careful in their exposure to ensure they're not left holding very poor quality companies just bought for the fact that they're cheap rather than their long-term durability. Now, February has, again, been a challenging period and extremely volatile given the ramp-up in tensions between the Russia-Ukraine conflict. But certainly in the last few days of the month, um, we did see this kind of flight to safety or this demand for quality. So as long-term investors, we really think it's important to stick with high-quality companies whose growth is backed by structural trends, which are capable of delivering positive earning surprises. And I'm also pleased to see that as our companies have reported their most recent quarterly earnings, um, most of them have delivered very good results and are providing positive guidance for the year ahead. So overall, the Global Mid-Cap Equity Fund has been performing in line with our expectations, in line with the other funds run by the smaller companies team, 
given our style and market environment. And maybe if we can just go into the portfolio and pick on uh, a couple of your holdings. I see you hold Copart, um, an online auction house for vehicles, I believe. Um, is this a play on the, the big rise we've seen in secondhand car prices? So Copart provides an online auction platform for selling salvage vehicles on behalf of insurance companies. It operates in a duopoly structure with IAA, but Copart is definitely the higher quality operator. And that's because it actually owns the land on which it runs its sites for storing vehicles during that auction process. And that allows them to earn a higher margin and return compared to IAA who rent their land. Now, the key driver is expansion into Europe, where only now insurance are, insurers are beginning to adopt the vehicle salvage model for liquidating crash vehicles and increasing average selling prices, which is really driving commission per vehicle sold on Copart. And the latter is due to the recent um, uptick in secondhand car market prices and this long running structural shift in written down vehicles becoming younger and more expensive. Um, this company has had good recent results and they're seeing an upwardly trend in their consensus earning upgrades. Well, as expected, Anjali, that's been super interesting. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Ryan. And if you'd like to find out more about the Aberdeen Standard Global Mid-Cap Equity Fund, please visit our website, chelseafs.co.uk. And for more from our video series, please don't forget to like and subscribe below.